My name is Bill Burns, and uh, I'm, a, I'm an artist. I live in Toronto. So I started making uh, safety gear for small animals when I, I was starting to think about the loss of species diversity. And um, I, I started to think of a, of a world where our, you know, our culture would suffer from uh, books being only having uh, books and films and, and all our cultural things would only have Atlantic salmon and pigeons and cockroaches in it. Um, and so I started making safety gear for small animals as a result of those kind of thinking about that. For me, the, the, this idea of the texture of what our culture can be with, with animals is, is really important and it's, uh, and I think the, the charisma of animals is or, sorry, where I enter into um, my relationship to enchantment. And so, uh, again, I've been you know, trying to make you know, tools for animals to help them uh, survive in a, in a planet where there's kind of, where a lot of things are being destroyed in their habitats. Here's a visor for a small animal. And this is, the morphology of the animal, of course, is important. Here we have a, a visor that's made more or less for the morphology of a, of a weasel or a, a small animal like, like that. And then we have emergency blankets. Uh, that's a, been a program that we've run since 1994. Um, as safety vests that help animals get across, um, across highways and the like. And, and in fact, are routinely used now in, in the UK for badgers and the like. Um, and um, uh, we have your know, hard hats. Initially, I made them for penguins um, and, uh, and also for, for seals, but the relationship to the morphology became troublesome, so I, I no longer, they're no longer in production. And so here we have a, a machine which tests the durability of safety gear for small animals. And uh, it just uh, batters the safety gear all day long. I invite anyone to come and see safety gear for small animals.